Hi. Now we're going to go over your syllabus to make sure you're clear about when what's going to be talking about and when things will be open or when they will be closed. So let's go over our syllabus to make sure we're clear about what's on this. So it's really important that you read it right through to the end. And I would really highly recommend to watch the videos associated with these documents because sometimes I offer some things in the video that may not be quite clear enough for you in the reading of it maybe, but the videos will help clear things up. So as you can see on the first page, that for the most part it just gives you a bit of an overview. Now you'll notice an incomplete part perhaps when it says contact information. Now. On there, you can see where my email is, and you know, I'll be posting my email all over the place, so please feel free to con contact me anytime. But I also want to point out where it says virtual office. I've indicated that I'll make appointments or receive appointments in WebEx, Skype, or MS Teams. Now, I don't use uh, Zoom. Uh, however, um, I will give you more detail on how to make these appointments if you're unfamiliar and I'll post a video perhaps or something to that effect to give you an insight as to how to do that. And I am working on some new technology that I may not get out right at the very beginning and it might uh, I'll head you up further into the semester, probably towards the beginning of the semester if I figure out how to use it correctly and efficiently. I will have another option in regards to perhaps live streaming. Um, I'm not quite there yet. So I will have more information on the virtual office hours and how you can connect to me via this way. But in the meantime, I just want you to let you know that I will be using those. Now, when you come down to the second page, what's really important here, and please, if you haven't already done so, do so, is the textbook is identified there. In the corner right beside where it says course textbook, it's not an option. It's really highly recommended to mandatory because you're going to be able to use that to make notes, highlight, follow along with my videos to sort of see what elements were important that I emphasized and also to have that as a resource that when you do your online test, you'll have your notes, your textbook and whatever other sort of resources that you've generated that as a result of listening to the videos, watching the videos, making notes and stuff to prepare you for the test and to use during the test. Now I'll talk about the test in a moment as to how that plays out and where this all plays in for you. So what follows next in the week to week expectations is essentially every week we have something new. And I have your syllabus marked out to have, you know, a column right here, I think, of what week we're in, week one, week two, week three what the kind of topic we'll be covering in that particular week will be, as in, you know, what chapter, chapters one, two, three, or what order they'll be in will be in your syllabus. The content sec uh, section there is just to let you know, in particular, journals are opened and closed at certain times, tests are open and closed, and your assignment has a place to be posted. And so these things are important because they have dates associated with them. And so it's going to be very important that you watch the video that I've made on uh, six, you know, online success tips. And it'll some walk you around through some of the sort of time management issues that would be really critical for online delivery. So please take the time to review that and watch it. Email me if you've got questions, but take these dates and put them in a calendar, put them in your device. I've made a video in, uh, I've posted that in um, support videos on how to use your calendar on your devices to set alerts as to when things are due and when you should start them, not just when they're due. So put in the journals, open and closed, the test and assignments, dates, open and closed because they are open for a limited time and once they're closed, they disappear from your view and the results go into Grade Center for the test. For the assignments, of course, I have to uh, mark them and same with the journals. But once the journal indicates that it's closed or the test indicate, indicates it's closed, it's dis disappeared. It won't be visible anymore. So if you can't find it, it's because you've missed the date. All the more reason to make sure you put your dates in a calendar and check regularly. Okay, let's carry on to page three and you again see more. Now note, study week is November 2nd to November 6th. That week, you're not expected... Um, 
to necessarily log in, although this might be an opportunity for you to get caught up on a few things, get ahead on a few other things. And so that week there's not actually content delivered, but you will have access to Blackboard and all the content that is available to that time. Now what follows, I've got three components. Now, one will be that you've got three tests and what the percentage for those tests combined are. So if you have three tests and there's 60%, then if you look at there's three tests, that means they're 20% each. Now what's important about the test is that they're either gonna be multiple choice and true and false. Um, there will be anywhere between 50 and 60 questions on a test. Now you're gonna have a complete three hours to complete them over the course of one week, say a Monday through to a Friday, a Monday at eight to a Friday at five. Check your syllabus, because I think on the last test I've added a Sunday so that you could write your gen ed test on a Sunday while your other courses, court courses might be offering to write them during the week of that last week in December. So make sure you check the dates. Now the other thing to bear in mind that when you start your test, you can start the test say Monday at eight. You are, you're eager, you're ready, and you wanna start. So you go into Blackboard, you go to the week where the test is, is living, you click on the link, and you begin your test. Now you may complete the test in an hour and you get a grade of 72%. And maybe that makes you quite happy. But maybe you felt like you could have done a better job. Well, you've still got two hours of your three hours left. So you might go back and review your notes a bit more uh, and then try your test on Wednesday. The remaining two hours will be there and you write that test and maybe now you get 81%. So that may have been an advantage for you. Now your time might be very snug and you might find one attempt to be your best go. I just want you to know that if you're attempting one attempt, don't race through your test. You've got three complete hours and you don't have to do it all at one time. Okay, so that's another reason why your test, sorry, in your test, your textbook is important because you can use it. And so the more you mark it up and prepare your textbook for a test where things are and identifying terms, that's why the videos that I make might be very important because I review all the content, that becomes you know, an important element for you and your success in an online class. Now you're also going to do a research um, assignment. It's going to be a research slash video assignment. Now please don't panic about, oh my god, I have to make a video. I'm going to be, I've made a video that I've put in week one. I've put in support videos. I've also put it in week seven or week eight, I think week seven. And it walks you through how to use the software to make a video that basically records your computer screen. All right, so you make a PowerPoint like you would present one in a classroom and it goes up on the projector screen and every time you push enter, a new action happens or slide changes. The difference here is you play that PowerPoint selection on your computer and then Screencast-O-Matic, the software I'm gonna recommend you use, will re record your screen and you just talk to either the microphone on your computer or better yet, put a USB mic, make it clear audio so that it's not hard to understand. So that's 20%. There's an assignment in the assignment and a syllabus and assignment folder in Blackboard. Read the document completely and watch the video that has me explain how to do it. And then there are five journals worth 20%, 5% each, uh, sorry, 4% each. And you will be, um, uh, in those journals, they're open and say it's, it's open in week three, it's open for two weeks, but it will always live, the entry point from the journal will always live in week three. So you go to week three, you click on it, you watch the video that I've provided for you, you reflect on it, and you provide me with three to four paragraphs of thought. Now, there's no absolute right and wrong. It's not being judged that way. And I provide a video that might be thought-provoking and gets you thinking. And it might have given you some insights into something you didn't otherwise know. Or maybe it's something that you've been aware of, but it gave you more information. Or maybe it's supporting something you really are familiar with and like or don't like. It's your place to express and to learn. Now below that I've indicated student support services. Now because we're all, you know, are online and with the COVID restrictions, 
These services are available online, so please check your student portal for access, but also you find the links to emails and they will help you best with how to serve you. If you have a disability of some sort, it's important to connect with Howard Davosky. He's within Student Services to help get the supports you need to equal the playing field in your post-secondary education. Following that, you'll see a, a, um, a link to college policies and regulations, um, rights and responsibilities. And you may find that very helpful for you to understand the sort of the intricacies of what your responsibilities are and what mine are and how we will uh, uh, work through the semester. So that might be a useful resource. And then the last thing I've indicated is something that probably most of you are quite familiar with and don't do, but it's important that we acknowledge that plagiarism and academic honesty is really important. And as faculty, we check for that. So I would make sure you read this bit and do your best to adhere to academic honesty and not plagiarizing. Okay, so that's a quick overview of your syllabus. I hope you find this helpful. Uh, please email me with questions, but please read the document carefully, put the dates in a calendar or your device, keep it regularly updated, and watch the videos. I make the videos to try to help explain things, and I hope they're helpful, um, but they're your choice, of course. All right, guys. Good luck, and we look forward to getting on with the semester, and uh, I look forward to uh, meeting some of you via email or through some sort of virtual office time. <laughs> okay, thanks, everybody. Bye for now.